Hey, what is up guys? I am Hippie. I want to welcome you back to a brand new Windcraft video for you guys today. So, it got me thinking. Now, I was just watching a video with uh, Green in it. And when asked where he gets his inspiration for, you know, different parts of Windcraft, different buildings, different ideas, different Easter eggs. He said that he takes a lot of his inspiration from other games he's played or movies that he watches. Uh, all sorts of things like that. And it got me thinking. I remember finding an Elder Wand one day. I was wondering how many other Windcraft weapons were Easter eggs. Uh, so I went on the forums and started taking a look around and I found quite a few. Now this is the top five in my opinion and I'm going to explain why I've chose them and uh, yeah give a brief run through of all these different items so let's go ahead and get on into it okay for the first item it is called the phantom blade the phantom blade is a level 29 assassin weapon and it does between 21 and 40 attack damage now this one I couldn't quite decide on which one it was a reference to it was either the Phantom Blade from World of Warcraft, which is a level 49 blue one-handed weapon, or it's possible that it could have been the Phantom Blade from Assassin's Creed. You know that little blade that pops up out of his hand? You know that one? Now, that one probably seems like it could be the more popular one or the more famous one, so I'm thinking that that is probably what the reference is to. But... There is another one in here, I believe, from World of Warcraft. So, yeah, it could be either one. You guys let me know in the comments, which one do you think it is? I put this one as number five. A, because I couldn't decide which one it was to. And B, because in Windcraft, it's not that great of a weapon. It is a rare, but with the Assassin, I think there's a couple of weapons that are within the same uh, level range that are better than this one. But still a nice little find by itself let's go ahead and move on to the second weapon okay the second weapon is called griswold's edge it is a level 60 warrior weapon and it does 109 to 120 attack damage now this one is a hundred percent we know which one this one's from this one is a broadsword from diablo 1 now, you can get this when you finish the quest, The Anvil of Fury, by the NPC Griswold. You'll get this weapon. Now, I believe this weapon is also in uh, Diablo 2, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. I know you can get it in the first one, though. Now, I decided to put this one as number 4, because it is quite a high-level weapon, being level 60. It uh, does a good amount of damage. However, it is only a unique and it's not that big of a reference to any other games just another item from another game so that's why it didn't make it higher up on the list let's go ahead and move on to weapon number three okay the next weapon is called reaper of souls it is a level 51 assassin weapon that does 88 to 101 attack damage now this one is pretty obvious if you are a diablo fan now, the third installment of the Diablo series is called Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. So, this one I'm almost positive is a reference to the game. It is a pretty big Easter egg, I would consider this one, since it is a reference to the entire game. Um, now, just because this is the second Diablo weapon, I'm thinking that uh, Grian, he might be a little bit of a Diablo fan. Now, for why I chose this one to be number three, it was a couple of different things. A, this one was super easy to find as an Easter egg. Now, for me, you guys might like easy Easter eggs, but for me, I like to be able to search for it, have to find it, have to work hard for it. So I did not put this one up as high as it probably would have been. Uh, however, it is a pretty large reference to a game, and the weapon itself is the only legendary on this list. So, I believe it needed to be put in the middle range. Now, let's go ahead and move on to number four. Now, the next weapon is called Stylus Scissors. 
It is a level 36 weapon, and it does 34 to 46 attack damage with the assassin. Now this one, it needed to take second place because I feel like this one was really well hidden. This is actually a reference to the game Terraria. Now, if you're playing Terraria, you might have ran into the NPC called the Silist. You can find her in some spider nests every once in a while. She actually carries a weapon called the Stylus' Scissors. Really low weapon, uh, but they're pretty quick to use, I would say, yes. Um, the Stylus, I think you can actually go and get your hair cut and get your hair changed colors and all that sort of thing. Now, this is a lower level rare, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to put it up so high on the list. However, since I feel like this one was really well hidden and you had to really kind of search for it or have played Terraria before in order to get the reference, I felt like this one was a little bit more of a secret egg and it needed to be placed up on top. So that is why it took the second place. Now, a best for all, let's go ahead and move on to the number five weapon on this list. I'm pretty sure you guys can already get the uh, guess on what it's gonna be. Do you guys wanna guess before you do it? Go ahead and take a guess. We're gonna move on to it right now. All right, are you guys prepared for the number one weapon on this list? The number one Easter egg weapon. The number one secret hidden mythical weapon. The Elder Wand. This is a level 62 mage weapon doing 104 to 110 attack damage with the mage. Now, this is a pretty beastly weapon. It's pretty high up on the list for a couple of reasons. Now, I had to take into account the fame factor of these weapons as well. All the other weapons, if you've never played the game, you would have never have seen them. But even people who have never seen Harry Potter have heard of the Elder Wand. Now, that doesn't include just the intense popularity that the Harry Potter series has collected over the past 10 years. I felt like this was the most famous weapon in Windcraft. Even though it wasn't a rare or a legendary or well-desired weapon, while I was looking for this weapon, I noticed that people were even buying this weapon just because. Next to Gavel's memory, this is one of the most uh, bought mage weapons in Windcraft right now. Now, it's not that high of a weapon, and to be honest, there are quite a few weapons that are even better than it, but I just felt like I needed to make it on the list just because of how famous it was. But that is going to go ahead and do it though for now. If you guys had a differing opinion on which one should have come in first or which one should have come in last, go ahead and put your list, 1 through 5, in the description below, and I would love to hear what you guys are thinking. Now, I also have plans later on to make a top 5 Easter Egg armors and the top 5 Windcraft Easter Egg weapons. If you guys would like me to do those, make sure you leave me a comment, and I'll try to get them as quickly as I can out to you guys. But that's going to do it though for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have been Hippie, and I will see you guys next time.